Hey Leo, Mariah here. It's such a pleasure, honor, and a privilege to be back, to have you back here. Of course, we're coming up on holiday season, Halloween, so I figured I'd put a little something together, my little Walmart cowgirl look. Hopefully you guys are feeling it. You know, Astros is going to the World Series. I'm out here in Houston, Texas, so of course I got to represent in the best way possible. So me and my busted Walmart five and below look, bear with you girl, okay? Let's get into it though. Let's see what's going on. Hopefully you guys are doing something good for the holiday season too, whether you got kids or not. You know, enjoy yourself this Halloween if you do celebrate. So let's get into it. So what is it that my Leos need to know? What is it that my Leos need to know, Spirit? I kind of want to actually, um, some, some, I want to move towards your 2023 sneak peek. Some telling me to look at that specific time frame. So we're, I want to look at the first quarter, which is January, February, March of your 2023. And I want to see what's coming up for you because it feels like I'm being pushed in that direction. So what's going on for my Leos for their early 2023 spirit? I'm getting honey bun. I don't know somebody. I don't know if somebody has a sweet tooth or, or what. I'm just tasting something sweet here. So we have Homeland Foundation. Tell me more for my Leos for the beginning of 2023. What else do they need to know? I'm hearing like a faint, like a faint cry for help. Ritual, ritual and invocation. That's what it says on there. I'm hearing like a faint cry for help. Somebody saying I need you. We got union and we also have masculine. Bottom of the deck is death. Somebody and then underneath that is remembrance. Who needs you? Somebody needs you. Somebody needs you. Somebody's going to be needing you. But it, it, okay, this may sound a little weird. Well, nothing's really weird on this channel at this point. I just feel like I'm, I just display myself crazy all the fucking time. Excuse my language, but I do. But it, it doesn't necessarily I keep hearing that, like somebody's crying, like I need you, but it's very faint. I'm hearing it very faintly. Somebody's, somebody keeps saying that to you, but I'm not understanding why somebody is needing you. What is this? Why is somebody needing Leo spirit? Tell me more really quick. Let's just get three cards here. We got the nine of swords in the reverse. Let's get two more. Ten of Swords. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Matriarch. It's a matriarch. Uh, somebody needs you. This is a feminine energy that's needing you, uh, Leo. But why do I feel like they're, are they here? That's the big mystery. Because it almost feels like a, like a phantom voice. Like a fan, like I can hear somebody saying, I need you, but it, they're not physically here. Like, it's like a phantom voice. Is this the same energy that's coming through that I picked up in a prior reading when I was picking up somebody's passed away loved one coming through in the reading speaking to you because i was hearing that conversation now i'm hearing it's it's the voice it's just a voice i can't it's, it doesn't have a certain tone i'm just hearing i need you so if i was to, oh god why do i just gotta get these weird wonky readings i don't know why i gotta get these weird wonky readings sorry okay And then purpose, purpose. 
don't resist don't fight it don't resist don't fight it now it makes sense now it sometimes it just takes a minute to come together I listen I'll be lost just like y'all sometimes watching 20s or even just like y'all watch me don't resist it's change and we talk about change all the time right in your own personal lives here on the channel but no there's something about your January through March of 2023, it's like whoever this matriarch is, there's a passed away, deceased, it's, a, it's coming through as a feminine energy. And it's it's saying, I need you, but it's, it's they're not necessarily needing you, if you will, right? Because they're not here. But if I'm hearing, don't resist, there's something here, Leo, in regards to your purpose that you're going to have to adapt to if i can put it in more plainer terms here is when we go through things and we experience things in life and we feel like we've grown and we feel like we've we've already grown enough we've already went through enough we've already developed to the point or to the person we need to be when we start to resist development of oneself that's when we start to die when we stop wanting to grow, when we stop wanting to change, when we feel like we know it all, when we feel like we've experienced it all, when we feel like we've gone through the growth cycles and the growth spurts that we needed to go through, and it doesn't matter your age, I don't care if I'm speaking to somebody that's 18 or somebody that's 74. We always continue to grow through life, right? And we always continue to evolve. There's, our growth potential is limitless. So when we put a cap, when we put a ceiling on our growth just because of what we had to go through to grow may have been painful or may have been difficult or may have been heavy. We don't want to endure those those at those facets of life anymore. So it's like, no, I don't want to grow anymore. I'm, I'm okay with staying here. There's some resistance to growing or, or evolving into our further, furthering our potential and elevating to our further potential because there's this resistance or fear of growth because with growth we know it's always uncomfortable with growth we know that there's some form of pain and uncertainty with it and this is this is i don't know who this is for you um i'm just, i keep smelling something sweet like cinnamon like baked goods something's very sweet here i don't know i don't know if it's speaking figuratively of this person's energy because it feels like a very warm embrace it feels like a very warm hug it feels like a heated throw cover placed on you that just warms you up it feels very nurturing very soothing very motherly or homey it's there's a very homey vibe to this but it, this this energy is saying i need you leo in your january through march of your 2023 it feels like you're going to either come across a specific person, people, or circumstance that's going to test your ability to grow further and not necessarily in a painful way. I'm not getting that. I, this is more on your end psychologically. We're associating further growth with tension or pain or uncomfortability, but but whoever this is or whatever circumstances is, it's not a painful situation. So there's an aspect of you where you're going to have to break out of this mental limitation when it comes to continuing to grow and continuing to evolve. And again, I don't care how old you are or how young you are. Don't put a cap on this because whatever this is or whomever this is, they're going to show you or unlock sides of yourself that you have not experienced yet that you thought you knew everything about yourself you thought as the man that you are you knew everything of who you who you are what you embody or as a woman you thought that you knew your entire essence and who you are as a woman and feeling very firm and grounded in that aspect or that facet of you being the woman that you are today but it's, it's, it's I don't know what the fuck this is <laughs> but it's who this this again this person this people or this experience you're going to grow through it's going to unlock new ways of viewing yourself or new behavioral patterns or new um, insights new internal downloads of who you truly are and you're going to unlock and get a new piece of the puzzle of discovering who am i as a woman or who am i as a man um, and moving further in your purpose but that's why I'm hearing I need you because there's something about you, Leo, that may be holding on to not wanting to further grow or expand yourself, not because 
you're not interested in doing so but i don't believe the interest is there to grow just because what has been associated in your experience up to this point with growth uncomfortability pain strife tension uncertainty and when we go into our intuitive space and we go into our spiritual body and we can really connect with ourselves this is asking you to trust in you more than you trust in anybody at this point trust in yourself and when we have a lack of trust or faith whether it's in the unknown or within ourselves because the fear response tends to kick in then we set ourselves up to stay in a box without being able to fully experience the true essence that really embodies who we are and we only are looking at it from a certain perspective up to a limit that we've allowed ourselves to experience or be in and again i keep getting this very warm energy and it's saying i need you i need you i, I need you it feels like who, whoever this is, and I hope you can't hear my computer, but whoever this is, it's like they're needing you to release whatever limitation that you may have placed on yourself emotionally, psychologically, mentally, physically. Release this limitation so that way you can unlock a new piece of yourself that you have not experienced. And again, this comes up your early 2023, so January, February, March of 2023. You're going to be presented with something. I want to see what this is really quick. What is this for? What is this all about? Let's see. What is this all about, Spirit from all else? Commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. And then bottom of the deck, burnout. Your hard work will see the results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Sorry, my camera ran out of storage. But back to what we were saying, if you are dealing with any kind of health issues, make sure that you're staying on top of that at the beginning of your 2023. But this more so speaks to what I'm talking about as far as we tend to cap our growth and our potential of growth even though it's limitless because of what we may associate growth with due to our pers our past experiences that led us up to this point. And there's a burnout. It's like, I'm tired of growing. I'm tired of going through this. I'm tired of going through that. I'm tired of having to experience pain or experience uncomfortable situations or situations that may feel or make me feel uneasy just to grow. I'm tired of the, the no one on this planet can experience a pleasant growth is always uncomfortable even if the situation itself is not traumatic it's not painful but even just moving into new environment circumstances or around new situations is uncomfortable we're not acclimated to that our brain wants to go back to our baseline of comfortability of what we're used to so even when we have to push past that yes it's uncomfortable and having to do that multiple times over in your life yes it does create a burnout and this is why i'm getting this warm embrace this is your rejuvenation period no wonder why i heard do their 2023 reading these next two months right november and december take this time to really rest if you can take this time to relax take this time to rejuvenate take this time to recharge take this time to meditate Take this time, if you can, if you have the opportunity to, if you will, reboot, right? Decompress, unwind, really get back into a really solid energy space if you're not in one. Because in your early 2023, January, February, March, you're going to be pulled in a direction of growth that will be uncomfortable. And again, whoever this is, I'm getting matriarch, whoever this energy is for you, because they're not here is telling you i need you but it's it's coming from the sense of i need you to continue to evolve i need you i need you to do this for me i need you to do this because i love you i need you to do this for us this is somebody that's not here but it's like your success and your growth is like their success and their growth weird right because they're not here but i mean as far as them watching over you, it's like they take pride and joy in seeing you grow just like you would once you go through the growth process and go through this growth spurt. So again, these next two months, unwind, decompress, do what you need to do. January, February, March, get, get, get comfortable with being a bit uncomfortable, which you already are, but we got to push past this, this limit, limit mindset that we may have on and with, with how we view growth. 
we, we have to go through a paradigm shift to change that. Because again, whatever this is that's coming up for you is not a bad, it's not like a bad opportunity, like it's growth through a hard situation. Again, we have a commitment that's indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. So this is something that's beautifully happening in your favor, but whoever, whomever, whatever this is, is going to show you aspects of yourself that you didn't know. And it's going to have you revise who you thought you were as a person, the person you are today, where you stand, your shift in perspective is going to be different when you meet this person or you get this experience or you're able to get this, again, whether it's in love or it's your work, it's business, it's finances, it unlocks a new aspect of you that up to this point, again, I don't care if you're 70, you just unlocked a new part of yourself that you didn't know that existed within you. Care if you're 18, you just unlocked a new part of yourself you didn't know existed within you due to this experience you get to have at the beginning of the year. And again, this is either going to impact your love life, somebody that you meet romantically that shows you sides of yourself that you didn't know that really existed within you as a man or a woman, or it's a business opportunity or financial opportunity that brings out new elements of yourself that you didn't know that you had within you. But to be able to realize and have that experience you got to go through the growth of uncomfortability. So, Leo, I'm going to leave this here. Hopefully you like my uh, cowgirl look for the holiday season. Astros to the World Series. Houston in the building. I love you. I'm excited. I'm just excited. We're going to the World Series. Anyway, love you guys. Be safe and take care. Bye.